Hello everyone, my name is Ishan and uh, in this video we will see that uh, how to use the ADF security with the entities and uh, we will see that uh, security control on uh, entity level as well as attribute level. So first step uh, in this example what I have created that we have a basic employee entity and uh, for this I will create a two uh, roles in the area of uh, security and we will restrict our salary attribute uh, with this for the security so let's go first step is to enable the security in the project and we'll go to the application secure and configure ADF security and we'll configure this ADF security authorization and we'll go for the basic and just create the wizard and what this wizard actually does uh, it creates a lot of files in the background related to our security so this file called jazz and data it has all information related to users and uh, application roles so first we will create two users for example John and with the password and another user I'm creating Scott with the password okay and uh, <coughs> you have to create enterprise role one role is called CS admin another called CS basic for example what we will do we will give only admin role permission to change the salary and next we will go to create a role called admin this is at root level basic on admin we will assign uh, the users John in the admin role and in the basic role will go for Scott and enterprise level also will assign admin to John and basic to Scott and you can see here that these are already assigned this part is complete for the security now we'll go for entity double click your entity and go to the attributes there is a section called security first you have to enable the security that uh, we are going to enable the security option on this salary attribute and next just go to the structure window and select this salary attribute right click and select edit authorization and we'll give this permission to only admin role to update this now we are ready to check our application just run the application module I'll go for Scott and I double click this and you can see the salary attribute is disabled because Scott don't have permission to update this attribute now we'll run with the John the same application module And you can see the John can update this salary attribute and he can commit into the database. So 
so that was the our topic today and hope you like the video feel free to comment on it and you can download the sample code thanks for watching goodbye